Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CS Card WooCommerce Connector. Now this add-on allows the admin to synchronize WooCommerce products and orders to the CS Card store and also allows the admin to map the WooCommerce store's category, payment and shipping methods with the CS Card store. Using this add-on, the admin is no longer required to configure the product data and information on both the stores separately. The admin can synchronize the products orders from WooCommerce to CS Card store and can also manage multiple accounts to exchange and synchronize the data between the CS Card store and the WooCommerce itself. Can you note that this connector will work with the PHP 7 Plus version there and it is well integrated with the CS Card and CS Card multi vendor as well. The product information like the product name, price, quantity and other attributes get updated in real time there. To import products from WooCommerce store to the CS Card store with product variations, product variation add-on will be required and is a must for the same. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular add-on. That's the CS Card WooCommerce connector at the uh, admin's end and I'll be showing you how to add an account and how to configure the same and the different options that we get uh, and the options uh, there itself to manage the accounts as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now what I've done is I've uh, assigned uh, after I've added an account and I've configured the same, I've used the electronics category to display the WooCommerce store products in the CS card store itself. So all of the products that you're seeing right now here within this particular section are from the WooCommerce itself. Now let's head on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to add an account and configure the same. For that, I'll go to the admin backend panel and I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email and the password and tapping on the sign in button. Now after the successful installation of this add-on that's the CS Card WooCommerce connector, uh, you'll find uh, the particular add-on installed under the manage add-on. So if I go to the manage add-on section and here if I search for WooCommerce you can see the WooCommerce connector and the admin can synchronize his product category orders in a simple way using this particular add-on itself. Now after you've successfully installed this particular add-on in the admin backend panel, you have to navigate to website and under website you'll find one option that's the WooCommerce connector as you can see. Here you'll be able to manage and view the WooCommerce store to map your data with the CS card itself. So if I tap here on the WooCommerce connector, here I'll be able to see the different uh, WooCommerce stores that I have synchronized with my uh, CS card store. So today uh, I've already added a few uh, stores here, uh, WooCommerce stores and I've uh, synchronized them with my CS card store there. So today I'll be che checking out the Benny app name that we have uh, done uh, for the SimTech there, store there. So I'll be showing you the different options that we get. But before that, how to add a particular uh, or how to add a WooCommerce account there within the CS Card store. For that, you have to tap here on the add button to add a WooCommerce merchant. So I'll tap here on the add button and that would bring up these three sections. One is the general, order settings and the webhook settings. Now under the general settings, what you need to do is you need to enter the WooCommerce shop details and here you have to enter the app name and the store URL itself. Now after you have entered these two details, you have to tap on the authenticate button on the top right hand corner and then you'll be able to configure the other tabs that are the order settings, webhook settings and the other ones as well. So let me give you an overview of the same. So here you can see that in this particular image, uh, we have already added uh, the app name and the shop URL and after entering those uh, things, we have to tap on the authenticate button. After tapping on the authenticate button, the WooCommerce account details will get fetched automatically and the details will get filled as shown below in this particular snapshot. So here you can see that uh, the WooCommerce shop details along with the store name, the consumer key, consumer secret, app name and the store URL are being visible here. Now after that, we have to go uh, to the order settings there and uh, here we have to uh, set up the payment processor and the shipping method. Then we have to go to the product settings. Then we have to set up the default CS category. 
and uh, here you can tap on the add button to add a particular category to which the WooCommerce products would get uh, imported into and you have to select the currency for the WooCommerce products as well all right so after doing this then you have to navigate uh, to the webhook settings and in the webhook settings so you have to click on the register order webhooks and register product webhooks as shown below in this particular section so that the webhook is created for products uh, created updated and order created in real time and then you have to tap on the save button after tapping on the save button you will be able to see the webhooks that have been saved and uh, then once the account gets created you'll be able to perform various actions from the WooCommerce store to the CS card store like category mapping, manage products, manage orders, uh, manage shipping, payment methods and category mappings as you can see in this particular snapshot here. So if I come back to this particular section, so you have to enter the app names, uh, the store URL, tap on the authenticate button, then set up the order settings, web settings and the rest of the settings there and then you have to tap on the save button to save your particular account. Now after you've saved your account, your account would be listed like this as you can see here uh, in this particular uh, WooCommerce accounts have been already listed. Now let me uh, edit this particular one that's the Benny. So after you have saved the particular account, you'll get different options uh, to manage the particular uh, WooCommerce account like you'll be able to delete the account, you'll be able to manage products, manage orders, shipping mapping, uh, payment method mapping and the category mapping as well. So let's check out the manage products first of all. So there, let's tap on the manage uh, products. And this would uh, display the complete list of products that you have imported from the WooCommerce into your CS card store. Here you'll find the product ID, the WooCommerce product ID, the product name, price, the quantity and the status of the products as well. Now if I show you the same, uh, you can also uh, tap on the, for, for example if I try and open this particular product in another window, I'll be able to view this particular product in the edit mode and you can see that it's the hoodie for your dog and it's under desktop electronics computers. So uh, if I go back to the electronics section here and here if I search for a uh, hoodie for example and I search for the product and then the same product uh, this product with this particular image as you can see would be visible here as well so here's the hoodie for your dog the same product that we were checking out in the admin backend that we have imported from the WooCommerce store in our CS card store now to import the products from the CS card store into your uh, from your WooCommerce store into your CS card store what you need to do is you need to tap here on the import products button and then you can import products from WooCommerce into your CS card store. So here you can also enter the product IDs uh, separated by comma there for the WooCommerce product IDs and you can choose the WooCommerce product status that should be imported. You can go with all as well you can tap here on the import button and all of the products would be uh, imported as you can see 18 of 18 products have been created in your CS card web store. Uh, and have been imported from the WooCommerce store into your CS card store. So that was about the managed products. Now uh, after that let me show you the category mapping first. Let's go to the category mapping. So here you can see that uh, we have we can do the category mapping of the WooCommerce category with the CS card store categories there and here you can find the WooCommerce category IDs there, the name of the WooCommerce uh, categories and uh, categorize techie swag new if you want to import uh, more categories uh, from your WooCommerce store into your CS card store you can tap here uh, let me close this notification you can tap here and tap on the import categories button and this would start importing the categories and you can see one more category uh, has been imported uh, that's the casual one now we can uh, basically uh, map it with the CS card store category so for example if I choose education here I can go uh, with the mapping of the casual uh, category of the WooCommerce with the education category of the CS card store there. If I want I can also delete this up by tapping on the delete button and after we have mapped the categories we have to tap here on the save button to save the settings there for the mapping. Now coming to the payment method mapping here we will find the WooCommerce payment methods that we have imported from the WooCommerce store into our CS card store with the WooCommerce payment ID, the name and here we have the payments option 
of the CS card store that can be mapped with the particular WooCommerce payment IDs there at all. Now to import the product, uh, import the uh, payments uh, there from the WooCommerce store into your CS card store, you have to tap here and tap on the import payments and you will see one more payment method would be imported that's the banks and now we will be able to uh, map it with the uh, CS card uh, payment method so I'll go with the personal check there and I'll tap here on the save button there. So backs would be mapped with the other one there that we had selected for example purchase order or the other one that we had chosen. Now coming to the shipping mapping uh, let me leave this particular page there and let's go to the shipping mapping. Now under the shipping mapping we will find the particular shipping uh, methods that we have imported from the WooCommerce store into our CS card store and uh, we will be able to map the uh, WooCommerce shipping methods with the CS card shipping methods there. To import the uh, WooCommerce shipping methods you can tap here and tap on the import shippings and this would start the process and you will be able to see now we have the flat rate from the WooCommerce being imported and we can basically uh, map it with the uh, CS card shipping method there and after that we can tap on the save button to save the particular shipping uh, mapping itself uh, with uh, the WooCommerce with the CS card stored there. So this is the uh, WooCommerce uh, uh, shipping uh, uh, what we say as the shipping and this is the shipping that we have mapped with the CS card stored there. Now after that we have the manage orders and uh, right now this particular section is empty and basically within this section you can see the list of WooCommerce orders and the CS card orders both separately as there exists the synchronization of the orders from the WooCommerce to the CS card and from CS card to the WooCommerce in real time. So you can see a particular uh, snapshot of the same here. Here we have the order ID, WooCommerce order ID, the WooCommerce order total, the currency and the status being listed. Uh, within this particular section that's the manage orders itself so this is the view of the view of the WooCommerce orders list placed from the CS card end uh, then we have the view of the WooCommerce order placed from the WooCommerce end uh, as well so if I go ahead I can go to the list WooCommerce orders and this would basically display the complete list of orders placed from the WooCommerce end there itself within the list WooCommerce orders uh, section itself. So this was the, the sections that we get here. If I want to go back to the manage accounts, I can tap here on the manage accounts one, once again and I'll be redirected back to the manage account section. And from here I can uh, delete any of the accounts, manage products, manage orders, shipping mapping, payment method mapping and category mapping can be done. And thereafter depending upon the category that you have assigned to your products that you have imported from the WooCommerce store into your CS card store, those products would then be reflected under the particular category. So we had chosen the electronics category for the same. So that's why uh, all of the WooCommerce products are being listed here within the electronics category as you can see right now. So yes, that was much about the CS card WooCommerce connector and I hope it helped you out in understanding how it allows the admin to synchronize WooCommerce products and orders to the CS card store and also allows the admin to map the WooCommerce store's category, payment and shipping methods with the CS card store there. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us and support at the rate of webcooldev.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com as well. Apart from that, you can also check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular video for a better understanding of how this particular add-on that's the CS card WooCommerce connector works. And uh, lastly, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.